So I just want to give a short update on things uh, with the new combination. Struggling with a few things. Uh, thought the converter was an issue. Thought the converter was too tight because I did put a 9-inch converter in it. Um, so I swapped that out. I bought a brand new PTC 9.5 converter. Had them build one for me for this setup. Uh, the car actually slowed down a little bit. So um, at that point, realized maybe the converter probably isn't all the issue. So I kind of switched gears and focus on cam timing. So I want to show you guys the difference that the cam timing actually made with this combination. Just changing, advancing the cams just a little bit and how much difference it made. So this is the best run that I made with the PTC converter with the cams locked out at 118 on the intake and 120 on the exhaust. Advance the cams and this is what we get. About a half a second. Uh, actually this is on a little less boost so it really picked up on the same boost. The thing ran 980 um, on the same boost so it was almost a little over six tenths, almost seven tenths of a second that it picked up picked up all around everywhere. Um, so the other thing I'm going to show you today is I'm going to put a short clip on here of what it sounds like. Engine sounds completely different. I mean, I think they're advanced a little too far. So today I'm going to back them off just a tick because uh, the power drops off at about 6,800. So that's one thing we're going to work on today. And I'm going to show you how I, I adjust these. Um, I'm going to do a compression check too. All right, so here we are. We got this thing, uh, cam covers off. Doesn't take long. It's actually really easy on a Fox body uh, when there's no electronics or anything. All right, so I have the comp cams, adjustable lockouts here. VCT's gone. Uh, what I've done, the red mark on there is my original starting point. There's a line that you can see right there and that's where I degreed them in. That used to line up with that red mark there and that was on the intake 118 on the exhaust is 120. Can't see the marks on there since spun around. What I'm doing, I've advanced them. This white mark that you, where it's at now is where I advanced them to which I think was somewhere about 108 to 110. I'm gonna back it off three or four degrees here on each intake cam and see if that helps. My cylinder pressure was much higher. It went from about 150 average to 180 average. Uh, definitely had a really choppy idle, which I'll post a link in here of that. But uh, I just want to take some of the cylinder pressure down. Hopefully it's going to extend out the RPM range. And uh, we're going to see what it does here in just a minute. Let's see if I can video how we do this. If I can do it all with one hand. Alright, so here we are. I'm going to just adjust this back up to where I want it. And then what I'll do is I'll just lock one of the screws in, lock it down, and then it's good to go. Alright, so this screw's locked down. Now it's pretty much set where I want it. I'm going to pull it apart this winter and degree them in once I figure out where they actually it runs the best. But uh, it's really easy to do, to be honest with you. Um, not as easy as punching a button on a on an ECM on a computer on a laptop, but it's really not it's really not that hard. Uh, all in all, this took me 20 minutes maybe. I'm getting ready to put it all, tighten these up, put it all back together, and fire it up, see how it sounds. All right, so last part of this, um, this was the compression test on the new engine. This is right after break in uh, with the cams at uh, 118 and 120, 118 intake, 120 exhaust. That was degreed in, so I know they were accurate. Obviously number four is a tick low, um, which carried through on pretty much all three of these. This is the way it was when I pulled it in today, after I'd advanced them. It picked up like five or six tenths of a second. So it definitely made a lot more cylinder pressure. Um, four is still low. Uh, seemed to kind of hurt it a little bit more. And now I advanced, the, I'm sorry, I retarded the intake cams uh, roughly about three or four degrees. And uh, 
you know, they're still all pretty equal. I know my cam timing is not perfect, but they're fairly equal until I get down to four. It's still my special ed down there. Uh, I'm not sure what's going on, but I think the intake cams are somewhere around 112, exhaust about 116, which is where I had the stock truck cams in. And the stock truck cams made about 150 cylinder pressure um, all the way through, so on all of them. Uh, plus or minus five here or there. But uh, So that's where I'm at. We're going to go try it out on Sunday on a good prep track and see what I got. Hopefully uh, it makes a heck of a difference. Gives me some more RPM and I don't lose any of the ET.